with me. Yeah, me, me. Ah, yesterday we met. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, 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 sir. So, yes, where we can, we look for funding so we can do this for free, wherever we can. Yeah. But we can't do that all the time. Where we can't do that, then schools and organisations pay. Set up by? So, it's set up by an amazing lady, you must look her up. A, a, a champion of science communication around the world called Wendy Sadler. Wendy Sadler MBE. She's my boss, my, da my boss of bosses, if you like. And she's utterly amazing. Uh, and, and, and Science Made Simple really was created in her image, if you like. Uh, we all, we're all in love with Wendy. She's an author, she's an author. Uh, she is an author. She's an author about, she's written about 12 books. I'll count the 20 seconds and then look at me. So 20 seconds looking here, people. And then, and keep your hand very still and very flat. Don't move your hand, whatever happens. Here we go. Right. So you can blink, but, but keep staring at the disc until I say, look at the rabbit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. What about it? What's happening to the rabbit? Anybody <coughs> see that anything happened to the rabbit? He blinked. The rabbit is getting bigger? The rabbit is getting bigger, bigger, bigger. What do you think would happen if we spun the disc in the opposite direction? It might get smaller. It might get smaller. Nice thought. All right, let's give it a go. The, the smaller thing sometimes doesn't work quite as well. I have no idea why. Growing often works really well, but shrinking sometimes not quite so well. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20. Look at the rabbit. <laughs> Getting smaller? Getting smaller? Right, but this time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the rabbit on top of the <laughs> Stand up. I tell you what, the rabbit won't sit on there, never mind. But, but, but just concentrate on this guy's head. <laughs> So it's 20 seconds of looking at this, you know, and then look at that. <laughs> Here we go. Keep it, keep it still, don't move. <laughs> so, it's, did the rabbit actually feel any heavier? Are you sure about that? I'm going to ask you that again. Did you think the rabbit felt any heavier? Yes. Yes? Okay, okay. Right, we'll, we'll come back to that. We'll come back to that in a second. Here we go. One. David. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Look at it. Gradually growing. But did his head really actually get any bigger? No, no, no. So if you think about it, could the rabbit have really got any bigger or heavier? No, 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 no. What was going on? I mean, it looked like it did. Of course, of course it looked like that. Because we've got an optical illusion going on here. Uh, neuroscientists don't exactly know how it works. How we think it works is that, that as you watch that disc spin, it tires out a teeny weeny bit of your brain. Just a few cells in your brain. The cells that recognize direction. They fall asleep. So you're still, it's not hypnotism, but one or two of the cells in your brain have just fallen asleep a little bit and that gives you that illusion of expansion or contraction or things like that. Who discovered it? Huh? Who discovered it? I, I, well, I know that the ancient Romans knew about illusions. I guess because the ancient Romans knew about the illusions that the ancient Greeks, because Rome stole everything of, Gre of, of Greece, they probably knew about it. And I bet you any money 
that even the Greeks weren't the first people to know about illusions. You know, I, I, the, the knowledge of illusions goes back to pre-civilization. I mean, I, I don't have any evidence for that, but that's what I've always thought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why are you here, PB? Did any of you see me do the mobile phone science before? You saw, oh, you, you are right. And you, you see, you saved me there. You saved me there. You've, 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 you've saved me there from, right. I'm, 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 oh, you look like you, you're all so very, very quiet. Good lemon sweet, but you're at a science festival. So I've got something for you to try out. Okay, you'll never forget this piece of science for the rest of your lives. But to do it, you've got to stand up. Stand up. Right. No, there's not enough room here to do, there's enough room here to do. First of all, put your right index finger out like that. And you're going to write your name, your first name, just your first name, in capital letters if you can, with that finger. So I'm David, so I'm going to write David in capital letters. Here we go, one, two, three, go. One, two, wait for it. <laughs> one, two, three, go. Someone has got long in here. <laughs> uh, left index finger. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, three, go. You are doing really well here. Now it gets tricky. Right big toe. Right. One, two, three, go. Well done in a small space like this as well. That's going so. Left big toe. Go! And now for the last one. Now for the last one to make it mean something. I want you from wherever you're standing, I want you to turn 180 degrees so you're facing the other way. Okay, so I'm going to go 180 degrees. You turn as well. <laughs> Stop. And you're going to write your first name with your bottom. With this. One, two, three, go. Come on, people. You heard the instruction. I can't see you, but I know you all can see it. You're like an idiot. Come on, come on, you're going to go. Now, we are not the only animals who communicate with their buttons. <laughs> there are other, an other animals out there, particularly honeybees. And I bet some of you have heard of the honeybee waggle dance. Where they don't spell out their name, but it's a mathematical code to where the best flowers are, to where to get the best neck. 